hello, welcome back to the second part of a great deal. After rolling the Tetra 05, I've jumped in the Tuz 108 Warthog, as you can see here, kitted up with a few extras. I've got a flatbed on the back so that we can pick up the spare parts that will go off to the recycling warehouse or somewhere like that. I can't remember. We've got to pick up the spare parts. I'll get up to the airfield which is where we're heading to now <coughs> um, we've got to pick up some spare parts and we've got to take them over to I think it's a recycling warehouse or recycling centre or something like that it's just spare parts which will hopefully we then will be able to pick up the AAC 85DW um, and then we'll find out what goes from there whether it, how it becomes ours we're probably going to have to fix it up that's the normal thing isn't it fix it and fuel it because it this it says it hasn't been run it's been sat and it's damaged and it's it's basically knackered so anyway um enjoy the drive up we're going to take a different route um we took the 805 up the main route from the town up and i rolled it coming out of there so i'm going to go out and in the back way this time so which is going through this factory here we go out the back and we can run up to the the other end of the airfield and come in that way so enjoy the run and uh, see you when we get there.
That was lucky, and that was near death, wasn't it? I was uh, cruising on up there, not paying attention. Almost uh, nose diving me straight into the river instead of following the track. Now I need to uh, slow myself down on a new route. I'm not, no, I don't know and learn. But that was a close one. Nearly ended up with another uh, Tetra 805 <laughs> on its side. I think I put an autonomous winch on this anyway, so if it does go over, hopefully, as long as there's a winch point, I could get it back on its wheels. But let's, let's try not to do that. That would uh, make life a lot easier. Right, stage complete. Uh, deliver to the scrap metal warehouse 
service parts and drill service spare parts one off which is that box right there right there to my left um, <coughs> it didn't say you needed a crane <laughs> and I was expecting it to be able to go and do a load um, so I've had to swap into um, I've stuck an as off 73 210 uh, I've got a crane on the back um, I'm gonna do a well I've just jumped the it's the normal route up to the airport so I've, I've skipped that and we're just going to the airport you've seen this route I did that through the town up the road past the plaid which is rescued which will probably be the next job we do after this if we ever get this uh, AAC <laughs> so hopefully we'll be able to get through we'll pick up the spare parts and then I'm probably so that with this it's I seem to be doing a lot up and down and there's a lot of bits not telling me um, oh just get fuel trailer there's more fuel up here um, as long as nothing happens I think I'm just going to jump cut to getting near to the um, scrap metal warehouse uh, and we'll get it delivered and, and we'll see what goes on from there so I'm going to load this up onto the back of the Azov and uh, then we'll, we'll drive out and then um, I'll probably do a jump cut to near getting to the location.
right, I was going to do the jump cut to the warehouse, but I decided on the way down the road. Um, I've got to rescue these at some point, whether it be the next job or the uh, job after that. Um, I need more room, so I've decided what I'm going to do. I've, I've pushed the trailer over a bit and the container down a bit more. I'm going to winch onto the plaid and I'm going to put it down onto the bottom row down in the bus stop or the bus depot at the bottom near the town. So it's going to have to come down. It was facing down here. I'm sure it's got to come down this way. And then all I've got to do is come up, load up that container onto the back of a truck um, and deliver that to wherever it's got to go and then come back and get the trailer as well because I'm sure this is going to be like the one back on Pipeline where you had the trailer with all the product on it and the truck in front and even they fixed and filled up the truck they couldn't use it until it had been delivered to its location and it become available so I'm going to tow this down to the bottom road and then when we come we've only got to deal with the trailer and the box up here uh, instead of everything because then the truck's out of the way I've got more room it's down on the bottom road it's out of the way so uh, I just thought it'd be a little bit more uh, useful. I'm, I'm going down, I could tow something down. I can't tow the trailer because it would just bounce all over the place. Um, and I've got a box on the back, so I can't get the container on the back of this. So, because this is what I'll probably come back up with. I'll probably come back up with this, load the container on this. Because this will be easier to get the container into the quarry on the back of this than it will the uh, trailer. So anyway. I'm going to get this towed down to the bottom road and we'll go from there.
There we go, stage complete. As I thought, repair the vehicle. I don't think I've got enough on this truck to repair. I've got some repair parts, so I'll do what I can. If I've got enough and fix it, I will. If not, then I'm going to load it on the back of the truck. I'm going to run it back to the warehouse, or back to our garage, and then I'm going to dispatch my F750 with all my spare parts, and I'm going to fix it up. So we'll do this bit. Uh, if not, then I'm going to jump, when I come out of here, I'll jump cut to the garage um, and show you completion of uh, a great deal. It seems to be a great deal of a pain in the backside just to get a little scout vehicle. <laughs> it's a lot of stages and a lot of things to jump through, but hopefully it'll be a good vehicle. So, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, I'm not even going to bother trying to fix it, I don't think. So, don't think I've got, this, I've got the bits. Uh, I'm just going to load it straight out and take it. So, I will see you at the garage. There we go. 
task complete, new truck discovered, um, done in the end. As a lot cut out there. It took me a lot longer than I expected, uh, which doesn't fare well for when I want to do the plaid, because um, I think that's going to be a real um, tester as well. They seem to be quite hard to do this anyway so i'm going to recover these all back into the garage i'm right there anyway it still looks reasonably bent even though we've fixed it but um yeah so i'll recover these back and uh, i'll see you for the next one yeah look i'm bent looks nice now so till next time <laughs> hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you again soon goodbye